So your RV black tank, wastewater holding tanks, that's what we're gonna look at today. I know a lot of you don't wanna crawl under your trailer and take a look. I didn't either, but I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna take the camera with me so you guys can see it from the comfort of your own home or your campground, wherever you're at. Anyways, I got three trailers here. I'm gonna show you what kind those are and we'll take a look at all of them and the way they're set up. All right, so the first trailer here, this is my trailer. It is a Vortex trailer by Genesis. They're uh, actually local to where I'm at. Local builder within uh, 30 miles. Anyways, 3817V. Uh, it's a toy hauler. It's a 38 feet uh, is what they call it. The other trailer I have the second trailer we'll be looking at is a Vortex Prime by Genesis again, not the same builder. This is my son's trailer, Vortex. Let's take a look over here. So this is a 2414. So this is a toy hauler also. And the 14 foot garage is what that is. So that's the second one we'll be taking a look at. The third one is the third trailer here is a Mallard by Heartland IDM 312. So I have no idea what size this trailer is, but it's long. It's got to be at least 38 feet, but it is a camper style trailer lower roof not a toy hauler so that one we'll be taking a look at so let's go uh start with the genesis all right for conversation's sake let's just say everybody knows what these things are if you got a trailer we're here to look underneath this thing okay let's take a look so we got our piping here all right so this tank here, this is your first tank on this trailer. This is the Genesis uh, 3817. Here's your, this is one of your grays. So your gray one. So this is your front gray. There's three of them actually. See the three tanks, one, two, and then this guy here, two, three. So. The middle one is your poop tank. That's your black tank. That's your gray over there. This is another gray. So poop tank's got the big pipes. See that? We'll take a look a little closer so you can see. And then the grays have the smaller pipes. So here's your sensors. You know, everybody's so worried about these things. Look at how simple this is to replace. Come on. I mean, it can't be that hard. Everybody wants to keep these things so clean and nice. Come on. It's a dude, it's a plastic tank being held up there. Literally a metal bracket. Okay, you see this? Those are the bolts holding that bracket in. I could literally unbolt those bolts and drop this tank. Okay, yes, there is some seals inside, but it's not the biggest deal so we don't need to keep them so clean but here they are that's gray black there has got the big handles okay so this one here is right above or right below the toilet toilets above this so the poops drop in here the poopy fills up Simply into there, you pull the handle, poop goes out, down the big pipe, and out. Here comes your gray. That flushes it out. That gray flushes it out. So, I mean, it's a super simple system. Here's your sensors. Got one way up here. You see that, guys? Okay, one sensor way up there, one there, one there. You got the same thing on each tank. I mean, pretty simple hey there's your fresh water tanks 
no need to do a video on those those are the same as these tanks just in a different spot holds a different thing so anyways there's the tanks on the 3817 v let's go take a look at the little one the real simple system this is the three tanks real a lot of piping stuff like that fifth wheel but let's take a look at the little toy hauler all right here we are at the uh smaller 24 foot vortex look at this system now holy moly what's the like yeah the, that's gonna get torn off whoever designed that it's got to be a better way but i see them all like that so we're under the tank here or under the trailer with the tanks once again okay easy to identify this here this is your black tank how do i know because this thing can hold a turd a turd or two side by side coming around talladega heading down there into the sewer city okay look at this okay the other thing is everybody's so worried about these tanks got to get everything out of the bottom you got two pieces of corn floating in there and they're all bent out of shape and they want to go inside there and clean it okay look at the belly on that this tank is full the tank on that other one over there remember that rv the 3817v that one was empty dude okay so look at this thing this can you see that that thing is so bellied out you could almost be on flat ground and it would hardly like this is almost lower than than the outlet so once again simple these are these are strapped up okay you got a bracket here that holds it up that one there and it's got some bolts on the back side there and this one too or is it that one no it's this one see those bolts that's what holds those bolts hold that bracket on there there they are gosh and that's what keeps this tank in there so you could actually drop this tank if you had to if you drop your dentures in there you could pull this out and you could get in there and you could put it back together you might have to spend some time with some seals but poopy tanks got the big pipes the grays got the little pipes this system shows this one's full too it's scary being under these it's a lot of weight okay if these are 50 pounds liquid is about eight pounds eight ounces uh, or whatever eight pounds per gallon is what i call it so do the math eight pounds per gallon eight pounds per gallon that's freaking a lot of poundsies this is a 400 pound man right above me so when you're hitting bumps think about that there it is there's all your sensors same thing sensor wires up there real simple sensor wires up here i mean really couldn't be a more simple system and they don't have to be clean it's a poop tank my gosh why do we have power washers well if you let them get out of control you're gonna either replace the tank or power wash it so there's that one wow that's something else all right let's go see what we got over on that uh travel trailer okay we're under this mallard trailer actually we're not yet i lied to you i'm out here on this mallard trailer here's the dump here we got a gray and we got a black and then we got our dump here so clearly they both come out the same chute um right it just all big pipe real simple two tanks right next to each other one in the center no extra piping real simple but we'll look at under there because that's a whole nother monster and then over here on the back we got the black and that's just a single tank that's for the back bathroom 
So that's just one tank, real simple. I mean, this this one's really simple. The hard part of this is this winterizing. Let me crawl under there, we'll take a look. So this here is an issue. This makes it really difficult, all right? So the two toy haulers are really easy. This is really difficult because you got this to deal with. And I don't, I don't, I don't like this. I I get it, I get it, they're in the snow. I'm not, I'm a California boy. So you're gonna have to look at somebody else's page to learn about camper trailers and this underneath. So I'm just being honest with you. Here's the Y connection where these two tanks go together. The black one's on the left hand there. The, Gray one's on the right. Super simple. If this insulative stuff wasn't on here, I'm sure there's ways to sit and take all these bolts out and cut it. I think I've seen some of these people do that. Wow, what a chore. But you, I don't camp in the snow. So that's, there's the big black tank that were i don't know what's leaking down there but that doesn't look good either you guys see that yikes maybe it's just glue that's weird but whoa these things are a different animal i don't work on these so but i had one here i thought i'd show you guys i happen to have three trailers here so there you go that's all three trailers thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.